Let's go to the library. Hi guys, Sarah from Behind On Books here and today I wanted to show you the books that I got from the library. So apparently some people don't go to the library but maybe they don't realise that you can get books for free. You take them, you scan them and then they go home with you. <laughs> I love the library. Um, I live in a very rural area, so, I mean, my library is closer than my nearest bookshop. <clears throat> so, it makes more sense for me to go to the library and see if they've got what I want before I think about ordering it online or having to travel 35 miles to the nearest bookshop to buy <laughs> the book that I want. I'm going to order it offline, of course, but it still takes a while to get here. Um, and I also feel quite lucky in that I have a lot of libraries. So everyone has a library in their town. I have one in the town that way, in the town that way, and in the town that way. So I can go on a library book crawl, I guess. It's like a pub crawl, but with books. But anyway. These are the books that I got recently. Um, it's coming up to Christmas, hence the Christmas jumper. And I like to make sure I've got some books in because obviously the library closes and I'm at work a lot as well over this Christmas period. So I'm not going to be able to get out to the library again for a while. So I got a few books to tide me over. So the first book that I got was Burn for Burn uh, by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian and it's a series that I've really wanted to start I mean for one I love the covers I know that's incredibly shallow but I love the covers and I think the whole series is just uh, cover wise just really well done and if I do in fact uh, like this book I am going to endeavour to buy the whole set uh, so looking forward to that one I got this book Extra by Catherine Lasky. I've not heard of this book. It was in my YA in the YA section in my local library and I just thought it sounded interesting. Uh, the blurb on the back says uh, one ordering at ordinary afternoon 15 year old Lilo or Lilo and her family are suddenly picked up by Hitler's police and imprisoned. Just when it seems certain that they will be going to a labour camp Lilo or Lilo um, is selected by Hitler's favourite filmmaker, Lenny Reifenstahl, to work as an extra in her new film. Reifenstahl is beautiful and charming to everyone on set, but behind her smiles lies the power to sentence Lilo, Lilo and her friends to life or death. Yeah, I just, I've just i not seen this book around before, it just looked interesting, so I thought I'd give it a go. Uh, I also picked up uh, Winterkill by Kate A. Borman. Um, I'd seen this one around and I was just real stoked that my library had it so I grabbed it. Uh, I don't really know much about it, I've just seen the cover, I've seen a couple of reviews but I thought it was fitting. It's seasonal. Uh, this was in the featured section in my library. The, my, my closest library has a really small uh, YA section but uh, after months of me requesting books online and then them arriving and me returning them they seem to end up in that tiny section to the point that it's now crammed but they have a little shelf on the side of, I mean the shelf is probably about as wide as this shelf behind me and not really much taller um, but it has like a plastic shelf on the side where they put featured books and asking for it by Louise O'Neill was there and I had to grab it as I I, I can't miss this up because I w I've been meaning to buy it but I'm skint at the minute so <laughs> uh, really looking forward to reading that one uh, finally I I grabbed uh, Rainbow Rowell's Carry On it's a long book isn't it I didn't realise quite how big it is and I've started reading it 
I am on page 95. Um, I mean, quick confession, I didn't really get on with Fangirls that much. I, Fangirl was okay. I love uh, Rainbow Rowell's writing though, and I was kind of hoping that that uh, came through and more uh, with Carry On. I mean, I didn't really dig the fan fiction -y parts with Simon Snow in Fangirl, I just kind of skimmed them because I was more interested in what was happening to the main characters. Um, but I'm definitely enjoying the humour and the wit. There is a lot of... Uh, it's very witty, I think, this book so far. But I am reserving my judgement until I make my way through this hoof of book. Um, and that's it for the ones that I've got. I did order... I did request um, The Haunting of Sunshine Girl, but it hasn't arrived yet. I'm going to go to the library tomorrow and see if it's there, and if it is, I'll probably post it on Twitter. Uh, so, those are my books for over the Christmas period. I'm not completely sure if I'll get through them all, but I'm going to try. Uh, and um, let me know if you, you know, which one you think I should read first after I've finished Carry On. And also, if you have any thoughts or comments on the books that you think I should know about. And until next time, visit your local library. Bye!